Number 10. The H.L. Hunley The H.L. Hunley was a submarine built in 1863 by a company in Alabama. It was a submersible vessel, the first of its kind to ever sink an enemy ship during a war. The Confederates were the ones who came up with the idea. But after the submarine made its first kill, both the vessel and its crew were lost to the sea. The one thing the H.L. Hunley proved in February of 1864 when she sank the USS Housatonic was that submarines would become the future of naval warfare. And that they did. The Hunley rammed into the Housatonic without the ship ever really knowing what happened. It detonated a torpedo on board, ripping the Union vessel apart and sending it to the bottom of the Charleston Harbor along with itself. The blast was so big that it blew up the target ship and the submarine, killing everyone involved. The haunting wreckage of the Union submarine was discovered 131 years later by the author Clive Cussler and his team with the National Underwater and Marine Agency. They'd been searching for the sub for 14 years and were excited to finally discover it off the coast of South Carolina. They then recovered the historic vessel and took it to the Clemson University Restoration Institute to be preserved for generations to come. Number 9. Old Ironside the USS Constitution, known by many as Old Ironsides, is a heavy frigate that belongs to the United States Navy. She's one of the oldest ships still afloat to this day. The vessel was originally launched in 1797. She was one of six frigates authorized for construction by none other than George Washington himself. The ship didn't see any action in World War I or World War II, but did battle it out in the War of 1812 against the United Kingdom. It's amazing to think about just how quickly things change. The USS Constitution fought against the British, capturing merchant ships and even destroying five fully-fledged British warships. The public adoration of this boat is what saved it from being scrapped repeatedly. It's now become something of an American icon, even though it was retired way back in 1881. It was designated a museum in 1907, but in 1997, on her 200th birthday, was still sailing. And as of right now, this is a commissioned Navy ship with a crew of 60 officers. But of course, being such an old ship, she does have her ghosts. Over 260 officers and crew have died on board while serving their country, and some say their spirits still haunt the ship to this day. Number 8. The Nazi Spy Hunter The wreckage of the U.S. Revenue Cutter Bear has been located after decades lost at sea. The ship gained great infamy in World War II as a Nazi hunter. It began working as a commercial vessel in 1874, was purchased by the government in the 1880s to be used for work in the Arctic. It played a role as a relief ship during the Spanish pandemic between 1918 and 1919. It's even been used in modern times as a set for Hollywood movies. But its real fame was in 1941 when it was patrolling the Arctic waters for the Navy. It helped capture a Norwegian trawler that had been used by the German military intelligence forces to report on weather conditions. The ship was ultimately decommissioned near the end of the war in 1944 and left at a wharf in Halifax, Nova Scotia, but it sank in 1963 during a storm. It was being towed back to Philadelphia, but it would never make it. It was just off the coast of Nova Scotia when the waves swallowed it whole. The wreckage was lost at the bottom of the ocean until scientists finally located it just recently in 2021. Number 7. The Mary Rose if you've ever wondered which warship was King Henry VIII's favorite, and honestly, who hasn't stayed up at night wondering this very thing, you're in for a real treat. Archaeologists in the UK say that his favorite warship was the Mary Rose. It was one of the largest Navy ships in England and served for over three decades. It fought wars against France, against Brittany, and even against Scotland. Sadly, she laid on the seabed for over 400 years, slowly decaying until she was raised in 1982. To date, there's no historical warship more haunting and more imposing than the Mary Rose. It's just an absolute beast of a vessel, and its story is terrifying. The Mary Rose, after being victorious in so many wars, was completely destroyed, and 500 men on board died in 1545. The ship was leading the assault against the French invasion fleet, but went down during the fighting. Why the ship went down has been a mystery for centuries. Some say it's because she fired all the guns on one side while turning and while there was a very strong gust of wind. This may have caused the ship to tilt, take on water, and smash itself apart before sinking. If the Mary Rose was King Henry VIII's favorite warship, what's yours? Let us know if you have one in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. HMAS Sydney DNA evidence has just revealed the identity of Australia's most famous unknown soldier. His name was Thomas Wellesby Clark, just 20 years old when he joined the HMAS Sydney and went out to war. 
But as the ship sailed through the Indian Ocean in 1941, it was ambushed by a German raider and all 645 men on board died. It was one of the worst maritime disasters in Australian history. Three months after the boat sank, a mysterious body washed to the shores of Christmas Island. The individual was dressed in Navy overalls, but this was before DNA, so nobody had any way to identify him. He was buried on the island and forgotten about for decades, until the government finally dug him up and buried him on the mainland with proper military honors. The wreckage of the HMS Sydney was discovered in 2008, though no other bodies were ever found. They weren't found inside the wreckage because it had been too long and their bones had already been picked clean by the fish. And now, after years of DNA testing, Australia has finally revealed Thomas Clark's identity by matching the genetic material from his teeth with DNA from his surviving descendants. Number 5. Japanese Ghost Ships A whole host of Japanese ghost ships have risen from their murky graves like giant metal zombies. It's all thanks to seismic activity from an underwater volcano about 700 miles south of Tokyo. About two dozen ships that had been buried since World War II were literally hefted out of the ocean and back to the surface by the sudden shifting of the tectonic plates. In total, 24 dead vessels were pushed onto the shore on the western part of Iwo Jima. All these boats were sunk by U.S. forces during the Battle of Iwo Jima in 1945. It was one of the bloodiest battles during the war. 36 days of brutal fighting against 70,000 Marines and 20,000 Japanese soldiers. The soldiers were hiding in bunkers on the island, so it was a nightmare for the Marines to get at them. In the end, about 20,000 Marines were wounded, 7,000 were killed. The 20,000 Japanese soldiers were all killed in action, except for 216 that were captured alive. Number 4. The R-8 Submarine the creepy wreckage of a lost American submarine that fought during World War I has been found by a New Jersey salvage team. The discovery was made off the coast of the Delmarva Peninsula by using sonar data. The team identified a huge chunk of something artificial sitting beneath the water, and it turned out to be the wreckage of the R-8 submarine, one of 27 commissioned by the U.S. Navy during the First World War. Gary Kozak, the guy who was brought in to analyze the sonar data, says there's no doubt that they've found the wreckage. The size, the location, the shape, it all points to the lost R-8. The only issue is that divers haven't actually been able to go down there to get a good look at the haunting piece of oversized scrap metal. This submarine never served much of a purpose throughout any of the wars. By the time it was finally built in 1918, World War I was already over. It was deployed as part of the Pacific Fleet during the 1920s, but it came back to the East Coast in 1930. It was then used for bombing target practice until it sank. Number 3. The Invincible Armada if you're into haunting shipwrecks, the coast of Mayo in Spain needs to be on your bucket list. The coastline here is dotted with shipwrecks that date to the Spanish Armada of 1588. The group of ships was nicknamed La Armada Invincible, or the Invincible Armada. It was commissioned by King Philip II to be capable of invading the Kingdom of England from the sea. The Armada was the result of decades of rivalries between England and Spain over everything from religious squabbles to trade problems. The Armada was to escort the Spanish army all the way across the English Channel to where they could invade England. Sadly for Spain, that's not what happened. 27 ships and 9,000 Spanish soldiers were blown north to the Irish coast, where they were brutally murdered. Irish chieftains and English troops slaughtered the soldiers that washed ashore, while the rest died as their ships sank off the coast. The point is that the invasion failed. A lot of the vessels ended up back in Spain, where for one reason or another, they sank and wound up along the Mayo coast. And so did plenty of ships during World War I and World War II. The entire Mayo coast is littered with haunting ancient warships, broken pirate ships, and military vessels blown apart by torpedoes in the 1940s. Number 2. The USS Lexington The wreckage of the USS Lexington was found on the bottom of the Coral Sea after 76 years at rest. That's about 500 miles from the eastern coast of Australia. It was found by an expedition crew two miles beneath the surface, making it one of the deepest shipwrecks ever discovered. According to Robert Kraft, who had been involved with the discovery, the Lexington was one of the capital ships that was lost during the fighting of World War II. It was also one of the first aircraft carriers ever built by the U.S. named Lady Lex. When it was blown apart, it had 35 aircrafts on board. But the Lexington didn't die for nothing. It was part of a very important battle, the Battle of the Coral Sea. She went up against three fully stocked Japanese carriers, making it the first carrier versus carrier battle in naval history. It was also the first time during the war that Japanese forces suffered a serious defeat and were halted in their advance on New Guinea and Australia. 
the USS Lexington was destroyed and 216 crew members were killed in a haunting battle, but it may have prevented Japan from reaching the shores of Australia and doing unthinkable damage. Number 1. Bermuda Shipwreck The Bermuda Shipwreck, not to be confused with the Bermuda Triangle, was a wooden schooner that sank in Murray Bay years ago in October of 1870. Murray Bay is located on Grand Island, Michigan. The ship itself is 130 feet long and it's still intact for the most part, despite it being over a century and a half old. Nobody's exactly sure how the ship became wrecked, but considering it's in shallow water less than 12 feet beneath the surface, it's safe to say that it beached itself and got stranded. Today, the eerie remains of the ship are located right in front of people's beachfront property. It's become a popular place for divers and fishermen. I wonder how those homeowners feel about that. The ship still has its cabin and cargo hold preserved, accessible by creeping through the haunting interior of the ship. Just make sure you don't get lost while trying to find the captain's quarters, because you might never find your way back out. Would you go diving at the creepy side of the Bermuda shipwreck? Let us know in the comments and thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to hit subscribe and come back soon for another amazing video right here on American Eye.